end of your portfolio at this point and this is quality control. So this is where you try and convince the marker that your project is actually of high quality, all right? That it's not just an HSC product, but it's something that is really, really good. So what I'd like you to do when you're doing this is to split your quality control into three sections. Pre-production, so before you start filming when you're doing all of this early stuff, um, production when you're actually making it, and then post-production where you're sort of editing and doing your final stuff, okay? So this is your actual recording and drawing if you're doing an animation when you're making the game. Uh, this is when you're play testing your game. This is when you're putting together the animation and movement. This is when you're editing your live action film post-production, all right? So when you're looking at your pre-production, you wanna talk about how you made sure that you made a high quality product. So you're gonna talk about doing lots of research, lots of sketching, uh, lots of testing in class. So doing uh, focus testing. So this student was coming up with titles for the actual uh, movie. So he was going between War Within or Will. So he did a poll. Here's him up the front of the class showing students. Um, looking at this student here, we've got uh, the reasons why it's a quality project. So he's actually talking and saying specifically why it's high quality. So you can do that and you can say how you ensured it as well. So he did student surveys, so weekly class check-ins with sort of photographic evidence here, um, feedback from peers, so there's evidence here. So here's a script that's written all over, um, some different ideas from other teachers, so other professionals and people even from industry, an evaluation on that. This student um, did surveys on why people don't like K-pop to find out the reasons why people didn't like it so they could address it in their actual in their actual animation then they went and did surveys where they got it marked on uh, aesthetics technical difficulty appropriate media and an overall grade out of eight out of ten in different stages and there was a little comments there and they were able to evaluate based on that um, there was a decision in hers to do high-pitched voices versus normal voices and so um, I asked her to do a poll because I was one of the seven people who did not like the high-pitched voices but um, if you can justify why something should be there in your quality control section, then the markers will give you marks for that. I uh, evaluate it always, always evaluate so we can see the exact same surveys in this one. Um, we can see why, uh, what sort of positive and negative feedback they've given. Um, we can, you know, that, that one's a little bit brief, but that's okay. We've got more, so we've got Google surveys here. We've got, sorry, so forms. Uh, they've gone and filled in this form, but I would say that that form is based on these ones as well. So you can see that everyone in the class got the same form, but everybody chose to uh, represent it in different ways. So finally, we've got this one and this one, like I said before, quality control in the different areas. You can see that the same uh, questionnaires are in here, but unfortunately he probably should have made them bigger, uh, but that's okay. So really it's about showing the marker that you didn't just make this in the last week in your, on your own in a room and you never showed anybody beforehand. It's how to show that you've like tested it, you've made it the best product that it can be and justifying why it's actually a good project. So you're saying to the marker, here is why you should be giving me the marks. Here is why it's good quality because we can't take for granted the fact that a multimedia teacher is going to be marking our work. It might be a, a woodwork teacher and a graphics teacher or something like that. You need to be able to force them to understand why this is a high quality project and why it was difficult.